Good evening my dear students. أهلا وسهلا بيكم أبنائي وبناتي طلاب الصف السادس الابتدائي. Welcome to a new English session. This is Ms. Fatma Zarlul. I'll be with you today. وهنكمل مع بعض Unit 9. النهاردة إن شاء الله هناخد Reading Time. And if you can remember, the title of the unit is Cities Around the World. Cities Around the World. يعني مدن حول العالم. Last time you had the focus time and today you're going to have the reading time as we said so. Let's go through the objectives. نشوف زي ما احنا متعودين الأهداف أو learning objectives بتاعتنا that you're supposed to achieve. اللي إن شاء الله نحققها by the end of this session. By the end of this session, students will be able to revise pre-thought language زي ما احنا متعودين بنراجع على اللي خلنا the previous session. Read for specific information. لأن احنا النهاردة عندنا reading time so you're going to read a a certain text for specific information and then answer relevant questions based on this reading topic to check your understanding so yalla, let's go through the first objective which is revising pre-taught language and as we said you had the focus time and practice time last session and let's remember that together these are the months of the year the months of the year يلا نفتكرهم مع بعض وهنشوف ليه دلوقتي طبعا January January اللي هو يناير January February February March March April April May May June June July July August August September October November December. So these are the 12 months of the year. The 12 شهر اللي احنا عارفينهم. تمام. And we have the yes relevant pictures. أو صور كده مع كل مونس توريني الشهر التاعي. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. طيب أنا ليه رجعت عليهم أو افتكرتهم عشان أشوف السؤال ده. أعرف أجاوبه إزاي. مثلا لو سألت وقلت When did he go to Hong Kong؟ طبعا السؤال ده موجود أو صورته جاية في past simple tense أو past simple form سألت did When did he go to Hong Kong؟ هو إمتى راح Hong Kong؟ He went in April طبعا طالما سألت did يبقى السؤال إجابته هتكون في الماضي He went اللي هو الماضي من go He went in April هو راح في شهر إبريل تمام؟ طب عايز أسأل بقى طب هو قعد هناك قد إيه؟ يبقى لما اسال على المده او على فتره زمنيه هستخدم الكلمتين دول how long how long كم المده how long was he there there هناك how long was he there طب هو كان هناك لمده قد ايه how long was he there he was there for one week he was there for لمده one week تمام تاني when did he go to hong kong He went in April. The سؤال هو راح إمتى راح في April. طب قعد قد إيه? How long was he there? He was there for one week. طبعا for one week دي ممكن تتغير حسب المدة اللي إحنا عايزين. For one week, for a month, for a year, for two days, whatever. طبعا according to the subject هتكون الإجابة يعني حسب الفعل اللي أنا بسأل عليه يعني مثلا when did he يبقى he went in April طب when did they هم بقى when did they go to Hong Kong they went to Hong Kong in April how long were they there how long were they there هم قعدوا هناك قد إيه they were there for one week قعدوا أسبوع طيب تعالى نشوف إحنا عملنا الـ practice إزاي على الكلام ده أدي السؤال فوق when did you go to San Francisco When did you go to San Francisco? This is a city in, yes, in America. Very good. When did you go to San Francisco? I went in March. I went in March. أنا رحت في مارس. How long were you there? How long? How long على بعضها دي دايما بستخدمها عشان أسأل على المدة الزمنية الفترة. How long were you there? I was there for two days. I was there for two days. أنا عدت هناك يومين. طيب, let's go through picture one. You و Hong Kong يبقى هسأل انت رحت امتى Hong Kong هتقول لي April طب عدت قد ايه هتقول لي one week very good when did you go to Hong Kong I went in April how long were you there I was there for one week very good طيب number two عندي هي Paris December three days 
He, Paris, December, three days. Excellent. When did he go to Paris? When did he go to Paris? He went in December. He went in December. How long was he there? How long was he there? He was there for three days. He was there for three days. Type the picture three on the she Tokyo June two weeks. She Tokyo June two weeks. امتى راحت طوكيو هقول في جون وقعدت لمدة اسبوعين. That's right. When did she? When did she go to Tokyo? When did she go to Tokyo? She went in June. She went in June. How long was she there? How long was she there? She was there for two weeks. She was there for two weeks. Amazing. Number four, and you with London, January, where one day. You, London, January, one day. Emta roh to London, roh to January at one day. Okay, very good. When did you go to London? When did you go to London? I went in January. How long was you were you there? How long were you there? I was there for one day. How long were you there? I was there for one day. Number five, you soul, you soul, August four days. Very good. When did you go to Seoul? When did you go to Seoul? رحت إمتى? I went in August. I went in August. عايز أسأل عن المدة يبقى How long were you there? How long were you there? هما هنا اتنين يبقى ما أقولش I was there. أقول We were there. We were there for four days. We were there for four days. Number six. He, New York City, May, two days. هو امتى راح نيو يورك سيتي راح في ماي at two days when did he go to new york city when did he go to new york city he went in may he went in may how long was he there how long was he there he was there for two days he was there for two days number seven and she honolulu september one day she, Honolulu, September, one day. Yes, when did she go to Honolulu? When did she go to Honolulu? She went in September. She went in September. How long was she there? How long was she there? She was there for one day. She was there for one day. Number eight, handy day, Rome, July, five days. They roam July or five days. Yes. When did they go to Rome? When did they go to Rome? They went in July. They went in July. How long were they there? How long were they there? They were there for five days. They were there for five days. in was. مع ال I والمفرد هي she it and where with plural subjects you we they okay time yeah now it's reading time the title of the text as you can see is welcome to New York City the Big Apple welcome to New York City the Big Apple التايتل بيقول اهلا بيك في مدينة نيويورك اللي برضو بيطلق عليها the big apple the big apple is called or is the name given or called to New York the big apple طيب يلا let's read together over 30 million people visit New York City every year 
بدأ لي التكست بمعلومة بتقول إن أكتر من over 30 million people 30 مليون شخص visit New York City every year بيزوروا مدينة نيويورك دي في السنة الواحدة why ليه because it's one of the world's most exciting places because it's one of the world's most exciting places لأنها واحدة من أكثر الأماكن تشويقا أو إثارة في العالم It's one of the world's most exciting places. هبتدي يقول أسبابه ليه هو شايف أو ليه بيقول إن دي من أكثر الأماكن أو المدن تشويق أو إثارة في العالم. There are 18,000 restaurants. 18,000 restaurants. ده فيها أكثر من 18,000 restaurants. 18,000 مطعم. 10,000 shops. 10,000 shops و10,000 محل. And 150 museums, 150 museums, ومائة وخمسين متحف, exactly museum, basketball, opera, theater, فيها basketball, opera, theater, ومسار, jazz. New York City has it all. يقول لك New York City يعني مدينة New York دي has it all. فيها كل حاجة. تاني. نقرأ التكست على بعض الجزء البارجراف الأول ده. Over 30 million people visit New York City every year. Why? Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. There are 18,000 restaurants, 10,000 shops, and 150 museums. Basketball, opera, theater, jazz. New York City has it all. طيب. Next paragraph بيقول. Visit the Statue of Liberty. يقول لك بقى لو انت هناك زور visit the statue of liberty statue يعني تمثال statue so visit the statue of liberty اللي هو اللي انتوا شايفينه في الصورة ده تمثال الحرية لو انت هناك في نيويورك visit the statue of liberty لازم تزور تمثال الحرية and the empire state building اللي هو في الصورة الثانية اللي على اليمين ولازم تزور the empire state building المبنى اللي اسمه empire state the empire state building get tickets For a show at a Broadway theater, وخد تذكرة وإحدى الشو أو عرض مسرحي at a Broadway theater في على مسرح في Broadway. طبعاً this is a very famous place for theaters. Have a sandwich. كمان ممكن تروح تأخد ساندويتش at yes Carnegie Deli. The deli ده is a kind of restaurant. يعني نوع من المطاعم أو small restaurant. وكمان بيقول don't forget to shop at Macy's ولو انت هناك ما تنساش تروح تعمل shopping في المكان اللي اسمه Macy's ايه بقى هو ده it's the world's biggest department store department store زي مول يعني مول كبير للتسوق بيقول لك ان ده اكبر واحد او اكبر department store موجود في العالم تمام طيب تاني Visit the Statue of Liberty. لو أنت هناك هتزور the Statue of Liberty. قلنا تمثال الحرية. And the Empire State Building. Get tickets for a show at a Broadway theater. Have a sandwich at Carnegie Deli. قلنا Deli يعني a kind of restaurant. Don't forget to shop at Macy's. It's the world's biggest department store. طيب بعد كده بيقول إيه بقى أنا هتفسح إزاي في New York City. Walking tours. تور يعني جولة في walking tours يعني في جولات ممكن تعملها على الأقدام walking tours boat tours وفي جولات أو um, yes exactly رحلات بتكون بالبوت بالمركب أو القوارب and bus tours وفي جولات بالباص أو بالأتوبيس are available daily available يعني متاحة يبقى بيقول لك إن walking tours والboat tours والbus tours كل ده available daily كل ده متاح يوميا every day daily يعني every day for information لو أنت محتاج معلومات call us at كلمنا على وقال الرقم 1-800-555-2112 we can help you find a hotel room إحنا ممكن نساعدك find a hotel room إنك تلاقي أوضة في فندق Buy plane tickets. We can also give you the plane tickets or the ticket to fly. Or rent a car. We can also help you to rent a car. Rent means to borrow. To borrow exactly to rent a car means to borrow a car. Before we read again, let's go through the new words. Let's look at the words like this before we read them. 
مليون احنا قلنا مليون طبعا زي ما احنا بنقولها بالعربي مليون world العالم most exciting الأكثر تشويقا أو الأكثر إثارة thousand ألف طبعا opera الأوبرا جاز it's a kind of music نوع من الموسيقى موسيقى الجاز available قلنا متاح أو موجود information معلومات and rent يأجر طيب let's read again Welcome to New York City, the Big Apple. Over 30 million people visit New York City every year. Why? Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. There are 18,000 restaurants, 10,000 shops, and 150 museums. Basketball, opera, theaters, jazz. New York City has it all. Visit the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building. Get tickets for a show at a Broadway theater. Have a sandwich at Carnegie Daily. Don't forget to shop at Massey's. It's the world's biggest department store. Walking tours, boat tours, and bus tours are available daily. For information, call us at 1-800-555-2112. We can help you find a hotel room, buy a plane ticket, or rent a car. Okay, type. Let's check your understanding and answer the following questions. Question number one How many museums are there in New York City? How many museums? There are 150 museums in New York City. There are 150 museums in New York City. 150 museums. Okay, question number two. Why do people visit New York City? Why do people visit New York City? New York City Over 30 million people visit it every year. Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. من أكثر الأماكن تشويق في العالم لأن قلنا it has yes restaurants theaters department stores museums jazz everything thank you طيب number three what kind of tours are available what kind a نوع what kind of tours are available a نوع tours أو الجولات المتاحة available what kind of tours are available? Three kinds of tours. إحنا قلنا هما ثلاث أنواع من التورز available أو متاح. إيه هما؟ Very good. Walking tours في جولات على الأقدام. Boat tours أو في القوارب. And bus tours are available. Walking tours, boat tours, and bus tours are available. Very good, guys. Question four. What is the big apple? What is the big apple? big apple. Very good, guys. The big apple is New York City. It's New York City. In, in the title of the text, Ali, welcome to New York City. The big apple. It's a nickname or it's a title given to New York City. So what is the big apple? It's New York City. Okay, guys, you were great as usual today. تعال نشوف session wrap up together. Did you revise pre-taught language? Yes, we revised pre-taught language and we read for specific information. We read the text about New York City and we answered relevant questions and you were all amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And that was all for today. Until I see you again. Have fun and goodbye.